What's up guys, thanks for tuning in on today's video. It's Gabe and today I'm going to be installing these 2015 SS1 LE Recaro seats on my 2010 Camaro SS. Guys, you have no idea how much I've wanted these seats uh, or how long I've wanted these seats for. Now, before I get into the rationale, you guys can go ahead and skip to the part where I start telling you what the tools you'll be needing in the installation, but this is more for explaining as to why I bought these seats in particular for anybody that's interested or cares. They popped up on eBay and I just had to hop on them. I'll be honest, I did spend quite a bit of money on it and uh, they are not in the best condition, which seems to be pretty common with these uh, aftermarket, well, not really aftermarket, but used uh, market SS1 LE Recaro seats, uh, typically because you can't really buy them from factory anymore. And for a car to have them, uh, they are pretty rare. So if you do happen to find them on the internet, typically they'll either be from somebody that is just swapping out for new seats or uh, from accidents. So this was actually pulled from a wreck and uh, you can see that there are some imperfections here. So uh, right here, that's probably from, you know, pulling uh, from the seat belt going off. Uh, this one in particular has a little hole in it, kind of concerning, but not really. Um, there are some stains here. I'm not really too concerned about the, the stains and the imperfections in the Alcantara. I'm just going to pass the buck and have a professional uh, deep clean them and, you know, try to get out as much as possible. But these seats are absolutely, you know, stylish. They are on the heavier side of things. I'll admit that. Uh, but they are really cool. They have a nice design, good holsters here. Another reason why I kind of got these seats in particular is because I did want to maintain that factory look. You know, I, for the money I paid for these, I could have honestly gotten a carbon fiber seat. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I, I don't even want to talk about it, but um, I really wanted to maintain that pristine factory look. Uh, these are my seats currently. And, you know, there are some imperfections here. I mean, I've been using this car as a daily for five years or so um you know it's got some rips here starting to rip here as well so this was kind of like something that had to be done anyway because buying new seats i would have paid a thousand bucks so it's like you know i'd rather just get the seats that i want yeah i'll take the l with the price and i can always sell them at a later price maybe for a a, a smaller discount than i paid for them or for the same price I bought them for. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and show you guys what you'll be needing for this install. You'll be needing a uh, extension, a wrench here, and then a T50 nut here. And I'll go ahead and show you guys where you'll be using that. It's really just two bolts, and you're actually going to have a couple harnesses that the seats have, and I'll show you what the harness looks like on the new seats, which are pretty identical to the ones that are in the factory seats. So they look like this. So you're gonna have to, uh, well, we'll go ahead and show you as we start swapping out the seats. All right, guys, so we're gonna move the chair up as much as possible. Um, you can actually just do it here. And if you'll see right here, you'll have the T50 bolt. It's gonna be one here and one there. Be careful when you're doing this and don't strip that because if you do well you'll never get that out and you'll never be able to put these gorgeous seats in all right guys the second one is out as you guys can see you'll immediately see that it is not secured anymore i also forgot to mention that you should get a towel and i'm actually recording this after the fact because uh, i lesson learned so you guys don't experience the same hardship that I did. Put a towel here, especially when you're gonna take the seat out. It's gonna prevent it from scratching up all this area. Hey, and look who decided to show up. What's up guys? Bryce with the, uh, the bright, orange. bright orange E92 M3. Okay guys, so I'm really testing out <laughs> my little strength that I have to lift this up to show you guys what I'm referring to. There are the hooks right there and those will come out immediately when I start lifting and pull, uh, pulling forward. But you'll have this little connector, this master uh, connector here that you'll have to unplug and then once you unplug that, everything else will come literally sliding off. To take the master connector out, you're gonna have to get a screwdriver or something and slide it. Sorry, from here. There's like a little section there that you could slide it out and it's like a lock. But don't slide it out all the way because if you slide it out, you can't slide it back in. Uh. Like it'll never work again, especially with these. All right, so it's out. Yeah. Now we can actually take it out. There you go. 
Okay. All right, come step outside, sir. Wait, the front thing is already off too? The yeah. two front parts? No, there's no front parts. Oh, it's, 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 it's a hook, it's a hook, bro. It's a hook, bro. These Americans. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, I'm scratching everything. Oh. Oh, yeah, good, yeah, good. <laughs> okay, so these are the stock seats. Dan is all cleaning in there. <laughs> yeah, we might as well. So you notice right off the bat, the holsters here are stiffer, a lot more pronounced on the sides as well. Oh, the sides is not that much. This one's pretty good. Uh, but up here on the, the shoulders, shoulders, yeah. That's where it's really important, especially if you're gonna track Get tracking. a car or autocross. And of course, this doesn't have the uh, place to put the uh, harness here. Oh, are you going to put them? I might, I might, I might. Uh, but it, I, what I love about this is that it has the SS stitching. Uh, that was really like one of the key selling points for me. Because again, I want it to be very factory. So that's how it looks like. Significantly different in terms of condition. This is just dirt, and grime, and whatever that is. I hope it's not what it is. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so it's going to be the same process on this side. Uh, bolts, lift, disconnect, and pull out. If you think about it, no, because then my girl and anybody else that wants to be in the car can't be in the car because I was thinking of like, seat <laughs> Yeah, I mean. <laughs> oh! Uh oh. What the? <laughs> this is going to be the new gaming chair for sure. Then I got the red seats. Oof. And I got this red solid low weight racing seat, bro. <laughs> a racing seat. Bro, I'll be driving like a, what's it called? Groom. Igor, bro. <laughs> How long do you have to be to sit back here? <laughs> Actually, it looks okay on you. Huh? It looks normal on oh, you. Yeah. Let's try this. Boy, race it. Boy, you look normal. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Is that legal? Right, ain't no way. We're gonna have to uh, vacuum it here because we might as well. The moment of truth now. These if it fits. <laughs> what if it doesn't oh my fit? gosh. No, it, it fits. It definitely fits. It's just I'm hoping that like the motor and all the components oh, all the actually work. Yeah, because if not, that's a major rest in peace. There you go. If I lift it up for you, can you connect it? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll... You got it? Yeah, I think it's in. There you go. Oh. Eee! <laughs> okay. It goes up and down. All right. Eee. Up. Which, by the way, the old seats could not do that. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what happened to mine, but they were. Now I can finally drive your car no more. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> okay, it works. Perfect. Awesome. All right, now let's uh, go ahead and start securing it. Yeah, putting it in the, the <coughs> clamps for the harness front. So we have to align that up. All right, so we managed to get the hooks in. It's, you know, it's kind of a process. It's, it's best to do it with another person, uh, but you'll know it's in when obviously, uh, pardon my feet again, if it doesn't move or shift up and down or side to side and obviously the holes align so we're gonna go ahead and start tying this down and then we're gonna go ahead and clean this side and install it and that'll be it guys so we just finished tightening oh, the can... driver side and Bryce sitting inside of it first time I can actually see all of the <laughs> <laughs> for real yeah dude dude it's perfect now I can raise the seat up how does it feel very nice I'm gonna go ahead and sit in it afterwards once I've showered and stuff like that because I'm sweaty as heck and that's probably one of the problems with Alcantara and suede they capture a lot of that sweat oh yeah look at that that looks awesome now I'm gonna try it I've told you once I'm not sweating because I'm all nasty uh, that is awesome Okay guys, so we just finished installing the new seats. The old ones are right there. This is how they both look. There you go. <laughs> it looks so good, man. I am really happy right now. <laughs> 
All right, so the man is all clean now. <laughs> yeah, the man's all clean. All right. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, it's completely different. It's like you don't sink in. Yeah, this you're, is, you're this firm is, on this, it. This is like firm, 100. percent And it's perfect because I don't really have that broad shoulders, so it like perfectly rounds off here. How's the sitting position? It's so different. I didn't even realize it until now. Oh, look, I got a, a service airbag. Uh, oh. I think, it's, I think it's just because it's the airbags in the seats. Were you supposed to disconnect the battery? I think so. Possibly. All right, so we just came across a horrible pickup here that is so little, like the detail is so little, but it affects the way that the car drives. So uh, the moment I turn the car on, I'll get a uh, airbag sensor that goes off which you know I kind of expected you know if anything you know you can always just take it to the dealership and they'll code it out I don't know service airbag but then I noticed that the two uh, what is it the sensors for the uh, seat belts go off so I'm like okay because clearly I don't have my seatbelt on right so I go ahead and do it <laughs> it won't fit it doesn't go in <laughs> this factory one is too big for the seatbelts here I'm not sure if that's only a specific thing to the 2010 I don't really recall ever reading up on the forums about changing out the seatbelts never seemed to be a problem that's really annoying the seats feel great though <laughs> uh, I just can't put my seatbelt on which is uh, a problem for obvious reasons so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try swapping out the brakes to see if it allows for usage I'm not really too concerned about the airbag situation. I kind of screwed up with that. Um, clearly, I might just take it to a dealership for them to rewire or reprogram that. So I'm gonna just try to address the thing to let me drive the car. So uh, just, I know we just skipped a step, but uh, you could just follow the cord. So you can go ahead and detach that. Uh, but this is how the unit looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and take the seat out, seats out again and swap them on and see if that works all right so now we took the seat out again we're gonna swap out the seat belt system here see the difference the hole it's a lot bigger on this one it's a little tighter here you know it's, it's literally the same thing we're noticing that it has this little tab here it's gonna fit right into this section here get a closer look Bryce. right here and uh, of course it's connected to this little section here so we're gonna hold, go ahead and take that out okay guys so we went ahead and installed the seats again we replaced the seat belts as you guys can see and now we're gonna go take it out for a spin Here's Bryce's E92 M3 that we tried to show earlier. Extremely filthy. Look at his holsters and his seats. Very nice. Never used. Never <laughs> used this. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I 
I like it. I like it. Um, not too much pressure that I was giving that. I mean, obviously, I was adding some form of turns and whatnot. I got to give emphasis on how good they feel on the shoulders. I mean, before, I didn't have nearly as much support uh, on the shoulder parts here. So these extended holsters here feel really good. So if you found this video informative and somewhat entertaining, go ahead and give it a like. It helps out tremendously with the algorithm. Uh, if you guys enjoy my content overall and my build overall, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit my notification bell so you don't miss any of these videos, these how-tos, my vlogs, my reviews, etc. And guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.